In 2011, as the space shuttle Atlantis touched down for the final time, it marked the end of an era. For 30 years, these iconic spacecraft had soared through our skies, their distinctive silhouette a symbol of human achievement. But their retirement left a void in American spaceflight, particularly in our ability to land spacecraft on runways like conventional aircraft. Today, that void might finally be filled by what could be the space industry's best-kept secret, the Dream Chaser. This sleek space plane isn't just following in the shuttle's footsteps, it's revolutionizing the entire concept. While SpaceX and Boeing chose to develop traditional capsule-based spacecraft, Sierra Space took a bold gamble on bringing back the wings. But creating a next-generation space plane hasn't been easy. From reinventing thermal protection systems to overcoming countless engineering challenges, Sierra Space faces an uphill battle to make Dream Chaser operational. The stakes are high. Success could reshape the commercial space industry and change how we transport cargo and eventually cruise to orbit. In this video, we'll take you inside the fascinating development of Dream Chaser, explore the cutting-edge technology that sets it apart, and reveal the major hurdles still standing between this revolutionary spacecraft and its first flight. From the Elon Musk 24-hour channel, this is the story of how an ambitious aerospace company is working to bring back runway landings to spaceflight. Let's dive right in. When NASA retired the space shuttle in 2011, it wasn't just the end of a spacecraft, it was the end of America's ability to reach space on its own terms. For the first time since the dawn of human spaceflight, the United States found itself in an uncomfortable position, completely dependent on Russian Soyuz rockets to reach the International Space Station. Each seat came with an $80 million price tag, but the real cost was America's autonomy in space. This crisis sparked a revolution in the commercial space industry. NASA, determined to restore American access to space, launched an ambitious plan, the Commercial Crew Program. They placed their bets on two major players, SpaceX and Boeing. The stakes were high, with Boeing receiving $4.2 billion and SpaceX securing $2.6 billion to develop their next-generation spacecraft. But while these aerospace giants focused on traditional capsule designs, another company was quietly taking a radically different approach. Sierra Space looked at the challenge and saw an opportunity not just to build another spacecraft, but to revolutionize space transportation itself. Their vision? Dream Chaser, a winged space plane that would combine the best elements of the space shuttle with cutting-edge technology. The timing couldn't have been more critical. With the space industry expanding rapidly and commercial opportunities multiplying, the need for flexible, reusable spacecraft has never been greater. Dream Chaser promises something unique, the ability to land on any commercial runway that can handle a Boeing 737. No splashdown in the ocean, no complex recovery operations, just a smooth landing and quick turnaround for the next mission. But building a spacecraft that can slice through the atmosphere at hypersonic speeds and land like an airliner isn't just challenging. It's pushing the boundaries of what's possible with current technology. The space shuttle's tragic history taught us that even small failures in thermal protection can lead to catastrophic consequences. Sierra Space's engineers knew they had to do better. Their solution? A complete reimagining of the thermal protection system that shields spacecraft during re-entry. The Space Shuttle's Achilles heel was its thousands of small ceramic tiles, each one a potential point of failure. Dream Chaser's engineers made a bold decision. They would develop larger tiles, measuring 10 inches square instead of the shuttle's 6-inch tiles. This seemingly simple change reduced the number of potential failure points dramatically, but it created new challenges in managing thermal stress across larger surfaces. Working with Oak Ridge National Laboratory, Sierra Space's team developed a breakthrough, a silicon carbide composite material that combines the strength of carbon fiber with the heat resistance of ceramics. This isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a generational leap forward in spacecraft protection. Each tile is designed to withstand the inferno of re-entry, not just once, but for up to 15 missions, significantly reducing maintenance time and costs. But the real innovation lies in how these tiles stay attached to the spacecraft. The Space Shuttle's tiles were notorious for falling off, requiring extensive inspection and replacement between flights. 
Sierra Space's solution was to use room temperature vulcanizing silicone, a material that maintains its grip even through the extreme temperature changes of spaceflight. It's the aerospace equivalent of superglue, but engineered to withstand conditions that would vaporize ordinary adhesives. Testing these innovations hasn't been easy. At NASA's Arc Jet Complex, Dream Chaser's thermal protection system has been subjected to temperatures that could melt steel. Engineers have worked through countless iterations, analyzing data from each test to refine their design. Every failure has led to improvements, every setback to new solutions. The challenges don't end with the heat shield. Building a space plane with a composite frame requires precision that pushes the limits of modern manufacturing. Each curve, each joint must be perfect. There's no room for error when you're building a vehicle that must withstand the forces of launch and re-entry while protecting its precious cargo. Speaking of cargo, Dream Chaser isn't just designed to look good, it's built to deliver. The spacecraft can carry up to 3,500 kilograms of supplies to the International Space Station. But what sets it apart is its ability to bring sensitive materials back to Earth. Unlike traditional capsules that subject their cargo to high G-forces during re-entry and splashdown, Dream Chaser's runway landing provides a gentler return. This could be revolutionary for space-based manufacturing and research, allowing delicate experiments and materials to return to Earth virtually undisturbed. The path to space hasn't been smooth. Originally scheduled to launch in 2023, Dream Chaser has faced delays that pushed its first mission to 2025. Some of these delays stem from the spacecraft itself. Building something this advanced takes time. Others come from its launch vehicle, the United Launch Alliance's Vulcan Centaur rocket, which has faced its own development challenges. But Sierra Space has used this time wisely. They've built multiple prototypes, each testing different aspects of the spacecraft's design. The engineering test article has already proven that Dream Chaser can perform the runway landings it was designed for. Now the first operational vehicle, named Tenacity, is being prepared for its maiden voyage. It's a fitting name for a spacecraft that represents years of persistent innovation and unwavering determination. As we look to the future of commercial spaceflight, Dream Chaser stands out not just for what it is, but for what it represents. It's a testament to the power of rethinking old problems with new technology. While others chose to build sophisticated versions of 1960s capsules, Sierra Space dared to imagine a different path, one that could make spaceflight more accessible, more efficient, and more routine than ever before. The story of Dream Chaser is more than just the development of a new spacecraft. It's about the resilience required to pursue a bold vision in the face of skepticism and technical challenges. As the first launch approaches, Sierra Space isn't just preparing to send a vehicle to space. They're preparing to demonstrate that sometimes the best way forward is to remember the lessons of the past while embracing the possibilities of the future. With its first mission now on the horizon, Dream Chaser is poised to write the next chapter in space transportation. Whether it will fulfill its promise of revolutionizing access to space remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, the dream of a winged spacecraft Returning gracefully to Earth like a conventional aircraft is closer to reality than ever before. In an industry dominated by capsules and splashdowns, Dream Chaser reminds us that innovation often means daring to be different. As Dream Chaser moves closer to its 2025 debut, it carries more than just cargo. It carries the hopes of a new era in spaceflight. Sierra Space's journey reminds us that the greatest innovations often come from daring to question conventional wisdom. While others saw the retirement of the space shuttle as the end of an era, they saw it as an opportunity to build something better. The success of Dream Chaser could reshape our approach to space transportation, making access to orbit more routine, more efficient, and more sustainable than ever before. Its runway landing capability isn't just a technical achievement, it's a bridge between the familiar world of aviation and the frontier of space exploration. Here at Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're committed to bringing you the latest developments in space innovation. If you found this deep dive into Dream Chaser's development enlightening, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. 
Share this video with fellow space enthusiasts who appreciate the engineering marvels shaping our future in space. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on Dream Chaser's unique approach. We'd love to hear your perspective on this revolutionary spacecraft. Thanks for joining us on this journey through one of the most exciting developments in modern spaceflight. Until our next exploration into the future of space technology, keep looking up. The next revolution in spaceflight might be landing at an airport near you. Welcome back to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we track the latest developments in space exploration and innovation. Breaking news has just landed from Boeing's financial front, and it's sending shockwaves through the aerospace industry. The company's January 23rd report reveals a staggering $400 million loss on their Starliner program in just the fourth quarter, another heavy blow to their space division. Since 2019, Boeing's trajectory has taken a dramatic turn. The aerospace giant that once commanded America's skies is now struggling to keep its space ambitions airborne. While SpaceX continues to make history with successful Dragon launches, Boeing's Starliner sits grounded, facing delay after delay. What's really happening behind Boeing's closed doors? How did this aerospace titan end up in such turbulent territory? And what does this mean for the future of American spaceflight? Let's dive right in. The numbers tell a stark story. Boeing's latest financial report reveals a $400 million loss on Starliner in just the fourth quarter. But this figure barely scratches the surface of a deeper crisis that's been years in the making. To understand how America's premier aerospace company reached this critical juncture, we need to look at the perfect storm that's been brewing since 2019. Back in the golden days of the 2010s, Boeing was posting record profits. Their commercial aviation division was thriving, their defense contracts were solid, and their space program seemed poised to compete head-to-head -head with SpaceX in the new commercial space race. But beneath this gleaming exterior, cracks were beginning to form. The first major tremor came with the 737 MAX disasters. Two devastating crashes claimed 346 lives, exposing fatal flaws in Boeing's flight control systems and revealing something even more troubling, a corporate culture that had begun prioritizing profit over safety. The investigations that followed painted a disturbing picture of corner cutting, regulatory manipulation, and a systematic breakdown in quality control. The MKS system at the heart of the 737 MAX crisis wasn't just a technical failure. It was a symptom of a company that had lost its way. Former Boeing engineers began speaking out about a shift that occurred after the 1997 McDonnell Douglas merger, when the company's culture transformed from engineering-driven excellence to profit-focused decision-making. While the commercial aviation crisis was unfolding, Boeing's space division was fighting its own battles. The Starliner program, originally conceived as NASA's reliable alternative to SpaceX's Dragon capsule, began encountering a series of technical setbacks that would prove increasingly costly. In the third quarter alone, Boeing reported $250 million in charges for Starliner. This wasn't an isolated incident. It was part of a pattern that saw the company's defense, space, and security division racking up projected costs of $1.7 billion across multiple programs. The KC-46 A tanker and T-7A trainer aircraft programs joined Starliner in exceeding their budgets, collectively accounting for $1.3 billion in cost overruns. Then came 2020, and with it, a global pandemic that brought the aviation industry to its knees. Airlines canceled or delayed orders, production lines ground to a halt, and Boeing found itself burning through cash at an alarming rate. The company had to implement widespread layoffs cut production rates, and rely on government support just to stay afloat. But even as the world began to recover from COVID-19, Boeing's troubles weren't over. In 2024, a shocking incident involving a new 737 MAX, where a door plug blew out mid-flight, reignited concerns about the company's commitment to safety. Although no lives were lost, the incident prompted fresh investigations and raised serious questions about whether Boeing had truly learned from its past mistakes. 
Adding to the company's woes, more than 30,000 unionized workers went on strike, bringing production lines to a standstill. The strike, rooted in long-simmering disputes over wages and working conditions, exposed deep rifts between Boeing's management and its workforce. Workers spoke of feeling pressure to cut corners, of safety concerns being ignored, and of a corporate culture that seemed increasingly disconnected from the realities of the factory floor. By the first nine months of 2024, the numbers had become impossible to ignore. Boeing was approaching $8 billion in losses, with year-end projections threatening to match the record $12 billion deficit from 2020. Credit ratings